Hello, my name is Avinor, and today I want to talk with you about detoxing and cleansing. This subject has come about over basically over 10 years of working in the health and wellness industry and just in general getting onto this pathway of healing because I had a lot of health issues that I was dealing with and no, none of the doctor's remedies were really working with me. I couldn't really figure out what the right solution was until I started getting into these diets where you eliminate unhealthy foods and you know embark upon intestinal cleansing and liver cleansing. And, you know, to say the least, I've learned a lot over these past few years helping myself and helping hundreds of other women and men out there to do de detoxing and cleansing. So I thought it would be nice to create a helpful video for you to just go over the basics of detoxing and cleansing and how you can, you know, incorporate this into your life as a way to address different types of health care situations. It could range anywhere from your mental health to, you know, physical health and something that's going on in your actual body. So let's get into it, shall we? Um, the first thing when it comes to cleansing is, you know, getting a uh, eating healthier foods. And usually what this means is cutting out a few of the things that maybe aren't so healthy. So um, you don't have to cut everything unhealthy out, but usually along the lines, what you want to go for is like no gluten, going on a gluten-free diet, no dairy, no sugar, no more sodas or refined foods. Um, and let's see, what's the other one? Oh yeah, no more fast food. Fast food has to go. So you basically, you know, eliminate some of these foods that cause a lot of inflammation in the gut. And you know, some people notice that they feel 100% 100 healthier just by eliminating certain foods. Like for myself, all of my health issues I believe were coming about because of a gluten sensitivity that I didn't know that I had. And gluten was such a big um, part of my diet growing up as it is for everybody. And, um, you know, I tried a lot of different things to get healthy and was having a lot of different health issues, pain in my body, abnormal cell growth, inflammation, um, depression, anxiety, all kinds of different things. And um, it really just all stemmed back down to not putting food into my body that is genetically engineered or perhaps has the use of like hormones. Um, a lot of times the animals that were fed are, are also fed genetically engineered like corn. Um, gluten, you know, is not a natural food. A lot of our wheat and barley and spelt, it's been a high, it's a, it's a hybrid so, you know, we're basically putting a lot of things into our body that aren't real food. So the first step to any detox or cleansing is to eliminate some of those things, perhaps even for life if you can handle it. Um, and once you eliminate that out, then the next thing that you want to add in is some form of a green drink. So if you're brand new to green drinks, some of my favorite green drinks, I'll put the links down below in the description. But I absolutely love the um, Health Force Nutritionals green drink, the Perium green drink, the doTERRA green drink. It's basically a mixture of different types of algae like chlorella, spirulina, um, and also different kinds of like uh, dried juice powders like kale juice, broccoli, um, you know, because it really takes a lot of forethought to eat greener. And especially if you're on a cleanse, you have to really have foresight and forethought into your meal planning. And this can be a really big challenge in the world that we live in. And so incorporating this green drink is just the best way to get that extra dose of 
fresh vegetables and just chlorophyll rich foods so that you can benefit from those beautiful life-giving effects that those oxygenating plants have on our body. So I usually try to drink at least one green drink a day and you could have more, you can make it and mix it with water or make it into a smoothie. So delicious. And so the next thing that you want to consider with a cleanse is any kind of like vitamins or supplements. I prefer the doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Pack just because I actually notice a difference when I take that. I notice a difference in my energy levels, my overall, just how my body is feeling as well as my mood. And so incorporating those vitamins and minerals is super important to open up the pathways of elimination and to help your body to remove toxic waste. A lot of times our body, it's like a sponge, so it'll just hold on to everything. And by flooding our body with whole food vitamins and minerals and omegas and, you know, different superfoods in that way really helps to our body to, you know, let go of toxins and refortify, regenerate. And so then once you incorporate some of these natural superfood supplements into the diet, then you're ready to embark upon the herbal botanical cleansing regimen. And like I said, some people never even, you know, get the botanical herbs. They'll just focus on the stuff I just shared, like the dietary elimination and, you know, the superfoods and just always keeping in mind that our food is our medicine. And so, um, you know, but to switch over to the botanical side, now we're going to open up the chimneys of the body. And the chimneys of the body are the liver and the colon. They're basically the biggest pathways that help to eliminate toxins or unfriendly, unwanted, um, you know, viruses or bacteria or funguses. Um, the liver and the colon are also responsible for our nutrient absorption um, and sending, you know, support to our immune system. Like our, our liver and our colon are connected to basically the chi of the body moving in every single direction. So keeping these um, chimneys open is super important for our health and our longevity and our youthful vitality in every single way. Um, so when you're doing a botanical cleanse with the liver and colons, you, you basically dance back and forth between the two. You never cleanse them both at the same exact time because that would just make you super sick. And, you know, cleansing does sometimes make you feel exhausted, a little headachy, sore. Um, it can also bring up different emotional triggers. Um, so it's really important to be gentle with yourself and to work with the body and to listen to your body. So some people will start cleansing the colon first. And if you start cleansing the colon and you're feeling good about it and things are going good, you're taking your um, colon formula um, and things are good with that, then you stick with that for 10 to 30 days or so. My favorite formula for the bowel is called Dr. Christopher's um, lower bowel formula and it's a pill that you take it, it's the bottle it's like a red bottle and that stuff is the best all of Dr. Christopher's original formulas are so amazing um, but I really love this lower bowel formula just for opening up that intestinal tract getting everything moving clearing out any unwanted stuff out of there any undigested food particles um, it just it feels really good to open up that pathway in the body so as you're incorporating that and you work through your colon then you may switch over to the liver and for the liver you know i i usually do um, at least a 30 day you know of taking pills for the liver um, you could go longer, like 60 days. It really just depends on your preferences. <clears throat> and when it comes to creating a detox regimen, there's no right or wrong way to do it. It's really about what works for you and listening to your body and working with your body. So um, 
So with that being said, you know, I usually do 30 days on the liver because the liver needs a lot of healing. Um, everybody does. <laughs> so my favorite liver formula is the doTERRA Zendocrine Complex. And there is a doTERRA Zendocrine essential oil, but it's not the essential oil. It's the herbal um, and enzyme, you know, powdered capsules. They're in a capsule. And you basically, I can't remember how many you take a day. I think it's like one to three throughout the day. And it's just so wonderful. All of the herbs and the enzymes in that formula really help to open up that liver pathway and nourish. Those Zendokin complex pills are something you can take even if you just feel off and you're not on a cleanse. It's just wonderful nourishing support for the liver. Another liver formula that I really like to take is the Nature's Way um, <clears throat> Standardized Extract of Milk Thistle, and it's also called Silly Marin, and that stuff is so regenerating for the liver. I remember learning that it could actually regenerate dead liver cells, so it's so worth it to incorporate these ancient foods and these botanical um, formulas into our diet because it can really um, boost our vitality in so many different ways. So, you know, you, you first you focus on the bowel, then you focus on the liver. But say, for example, you start cleaning your bowel and you start taking those Dr. Christopher pills and you get really sick, like you feel nauseous and just, oh, you know, then switch over to the liver. So usually what that means, like if you start cleaning your colon and it just you feel sick, it's really triggering you with a negative reaction, then um, you want to switch over to the liver because basically that means your liver is too clogged for your colon to clean out. Um, so that's just kind of a little success tip that I don't think is talked about often enough, but you just want to switch, you know, over to like, say if you start with the liver and you're just feeling really sick and nauseous and struggling with your cleanse, try switching over to the colon and opening up a different pathway. Um, go slow. You know, when you're introducing these products, like whenever I'm introducing something new, I try to just do one thing at a time and just stick with that, you know, for at least um, a couple weeks, if not longer. And then that way you can really feel the effects of it and you can know what's working for your body because everyone's body is different. So even though I suggested these things, this is just what I found worked for myself as well as many of my clients. But, um, you know, there's many different formulas, many different herbalists out there. And so in closing, like as you're closing up your cleanse, the next thing that you really want to do is, um, you know, slowly reintroduce the uh, other normal foods that you cut out. And if you can live without them, just perhaps eliminate some of those unhealthy foods, especially like fast food and sugar and gluten. Um, we can survive without those things. They're very detrimental and very hard for the body to digest. So as you're, you know, coming back and you're slowly um, reintroducing a normal diet and coming off of those botanical formulas, most people will recommend that you follow all of that up with a probiotic. And the reason for this is because all those herbal formulas cleared a bunch of toxins. They cleared out viruses, funguses, bacteria, other microbes, undigested food. Basically, you cleared all this space inside of your system. And so now you want, the next step is you want to fill that space with healthy bacteria. And this can't be emphasized enough, you know, but some people will just start taking a probiotic, but they have so much other crap inside their body that it's difficult for the probiotic to really take root in the system because there's nowhere for it to go. So, you know, doing this cleanse in this way and then following that up with a probiotic is really just going to seal in all of that good work that you put into your body. My favorite probiotic is the BioK. Um, it comes in a liquid, um, drinkable, you know, thing, and I like it because it's. I feel like it's active. You know, sometimes you can get the probiotics in the pills. Um, I haven't really 
I don't know if I've ever really like noticed that the pills, uh, like I didn't notice an effect right away. And I'm a big fan of when I take stuff, I want to feel it working. I don't want this, like, I think it's working, you know, I want to feel it and, and enjoy that feeling. So I like active probiotics. I do, like I said, BioK is really great because it's refrigerated um, and it's activated. And, you know, but yeah, like I said, there's also many other probiotics to so do your research about that. Um, but I think BioK is the best out there. So I hope that this video assists you um, and inspires you and helps you on your pathway of cleansing and detoxing. Um, you know, I'm making this video at the beginning of 2020 and just really feeling like moving forward into this new decade to really, you know, eliminate the things that no longer serve us and cut some of those unhealthy toxins and hooks in, you know, different energies. It's like our body is such a sponge. We absorb it and, and we carry all of the experiences of our ancestors. And so cleansing and detoxing is this wonderful opportunity to um, let go of all of these things and make room in our lives for wonderful people and healthy situations to come in. Um, one thing that I also want to say about cleansing is whenever you're preparing to do that, be really gentle with yourself and, you know, perhaps even consider taking some time off work or intentionally unplugging from normal everyday activities. And this is all in the spirit of resetting your nervous system. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to comment below and let me know about your questions or experiences with detoxing and cleansing and let's support each other in this lifestyle of healing and healthy living. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.